Hey guys, it's uh, Mutant Dragon here, and I think I want to talk to you guys about uh, this part. Uh, I think this part might be get a little, a little, little bit strange, so don't you get, don't you even start it. So don't get me started, otherwise this will be a problem. Um, so, uh, so, um, uh, here's like a maybe. I don't know, a couple of few things that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, uh, about um, Dark Souls 1. I mean, and let's uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it for I, I I have never done this for a while, so I just kind of want to let you know that. Um, so, let's see. I've been... So, since I ever, like, you know, touched upon this game, and I haven't uh, said anything that much, but I, to be honest, honest, I haven't said much about it ever since I, um, well, you know, got to manage to play it. And it's so, uh, yeah. Um, so, So, there are like, couple things I want to talk to you guys about, um, so, so, um, so there's a couple few things I want to talk to you guys about, um, so, about the, uh, about the playthrough, um, I think, and I still completely understand, and for your reason, and I completely understand that. Yet, however, I do not regret my decisions, nor my mistakes, nor anything else. But besides, it's all great for nothing. But hey, at least I tried. So here's the time... Time stomp... Oh, or time stamps. Amps in this video. So, you should be looking out for uh, the one for the Capra Demon. Uh, the... Uh, the gar- the bell gargoyles, those gaping- gaping dragon, chaos witch quaylag, heck, and other sorts. And I want you to get to keep an eye out for that, so just whatever you do, just don't- don't make any changes. And don't just, uh, change anything thoughts about that. So, I really hope I would want to like to get this through. No, and what? And I probably want to get this shit done. I don't want to get this game done. And this is like part two. Oh, if um, you know, I'm trying to find some other ways to do. Damn, to be honest. Um, so if you guys haven't uh really thought about this whole playthrough thing, thing with. Uh, me, uh, let me know. Oh, and I will, um, uh, I will, uh, just add you on my Steam if you have a Steam account. And, uh, I'll just probably let you know. Oh, if you guys want, uh, something to do. Oh, if you got nothing else to do besides boredness and stuff. Um, anyways, uh, I wanted to, to say this about this, guys, but I have much to say. Hey, uh, anything else I want to do. So, it's pretty much like the whole thing, uh, the kind of thing. Um, so... So, I kind of want to say, I love Dark Souls 1. Because I haven't played in a long time since I was... I played it since I was like, what, 13 years old? Uh, I think it's somewhere around that, but... Hey, it was a lot of fun. What can I say? I mean, it's been like, I don't know, centuries at least. At least, what could better than worse? And, I mean, yes, I don't want to mention about the, uh, the sorrow part. Uh, the sorrow may be the great, um, maybe the best, uh, sorcery one to, to start off with, and you can start, like, you know, just one-shotting fighting the mobs as you level up and proceed and such. So anyways, anyways, um, 
I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Just a no. It's just a mobile game with my phone. Just going enough for some reason. Hey, I want to be like more aimed, not way off. It's kind of strange. All right, so I if I all right, so if I go in here, ow, and I will probably be fine. Ow. God damn it. Why did I not roll after that? This is not like Dark Souls 3. What the hell was I thinking? Uh. to make this a bit easier. So without doubt, I think this is probably the most difficult thing for me to do. And doing so, I'm going to kill off a few of these guys here. So I can head to where my soul is. So I died for some stupid reason. Because a bunch of freaking thieves would not just back off. Or would not let me get out. And I kept hitting the wall because the wall is being freaking stupid for some stupid reason. For some stupid reason. Which I don't know why, but don't ask me. I don't know why, but don't ask me. Haha, <laughs> you died, bitch. That's what get. That's what get for trying to gank me. Oh shit. There we go. That's much better. I think that the safe distance range might have been better. I don't want to go and guess these guys. But it doesn't have like so much like, you know, soul arrows and shit. I wouldn't shouldn't be worried about it too much. Oh there. Mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's right. When you do Oh god. Fuck. Oh wow, they hit a lot. Alright. Alright. You're dead. Alright, you're next. You're a little fucker. No, you don't. <laughs> Suck on that, bitch. Alright. Alright. So. Remember, Jaren, don't get cornered. Safety is what's important first. Greedy, you die. Don't with me like seriously, you die at some point. Praise the sign. Whatever. It doesn't work that way. That's not how uh, physics work anyways. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Spoke me there. I see you. I see you. you don't, don't you dare hide from me. Oh my god. Really? Are you starting with this? Don't even start this. Oh shit! These guys just throwing knives at me. What a... What a dick. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Woo! 
after the cast, I roll. Oh, fucking sweet revenge. Just a I fucking need. I just fucking need that. Oh my god. Oh, thank god I got like 9,000 souls. Ooh. Bunk. Two. Three. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, whatever that is, it's just to be on, to be on point and be on me. Well, hello. Oh my god. Uh. Hold on a sec. I gotta talk to go take care of. You should have thought that out of the way, dude. It was a bad idea. Hey, Willow. <sighs> okay. Willow. Uh, I need you to get out of there. Willow. Willow. Get out of there. Back up. Willow. Out. Uh -uh. Willow. Come. Willow, come! Willow, come! Willow, come. Or... Oh my gosh, Willow! No! Or... No! Just... Out! Oh my gosh, Willow! Just leave her be. No, I'm not gonna leave her be, because that's the cause her to have this entire place as her own place. I don't want that. I fucking know. We just need to find something to distract her. Someone to play with. Willow! That's... Actually, that's I got a better idea. That's a food. Not a... That's a food. Not a toy. Damn it. That's a food. Not a toy. Damn it. There we go. Now you, now you sit down and eat, thank god. And boop. And boop. <laughs> so arrow is just too good. It's just too good for these guys. Alright. So. What do I do here? Oh. You not got to let me finish my casting, are you? There we go. Ah, <sighs> and they, of course they drop their shields, but not their weapon. Ah oh, well, you know, fuck it. You know, as always, it's never, it's never usually happened at a time like this. It never really happens all the time, to be honest. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I would say that that she. I would say that, uh, that someone needs to do something about that. How come you're not dead? How come you're not dead from the height? That should have killed you. Oh no, fucking, I don't even worry about it. So anyways, as usual, goes with that saying, let's go all the way back to find the shrine and use the shortcut. At which I will open the gate. Speaking of which, 
should probably use one of these on the way down. Just in case. I'll probably use one of these just in case to extend my uh, collection of souls. Just in case. Now, what I'm gonna do with the, the fucking dragon, the Hellkite Drake. What am I gonna do with it? Oh. Bad idea. Get up close, you're dead. Oh, fuck. Never had- ever dead? Didn't think that was gonna happen to me before, but whatever. Oh, but Bye bye. Oh, that's so funny. It just went off the edge- I just pushed on one of the edges off and died. That's so funny. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Alright. So what do you got for me? Uh, already you have one. I need this. I need this. Or a decoy. Full control. Hmm. What if that replaces the the ring of some sort? Boost sorcery's length of sorcery effect. Oh, magic weapon. Oh, that's cool. Should probably like get three. I should probably get like more souls. Alright. Alright. So let's put on some new spells and see what we can do. Now, with the new spells I have, I'll go ahead and place these. So my best guess that these spells might do some sufficient damage. <sighs> and I think these, these sword arrows do some sufficient amount of damage. How long does this uh, great Zora with the ghast? Let's try it. Uh, it doesn't well, it doesn't take too long, and it deals 160. What about this one? Three seconds. So it takes five seconds to cast it. All right. So it just only takes in like an instant cast. Two hundred and forty-four damage. It seems the heavy Sorrow does the best damage around it in this entire game. At least I'm not too terribly surprised though. But I don't know what you guys thinking. Don't tell me you're gonna use that that heavy Sorrow to take out on the freaking Hellkite Drake. You know how hard it is to beat that bitch. Well, I found an easier way and an easier solution to do this, but I kind of to be honest, there's not really much uh, else to do besides killing the Capra Demon and then the Gaping Dragon and Quaylag and such. And the Bell Gargoyles, that kind of thing. I just feel like I want to kill the, the whole kite before I'm going to take on and just, you know, head on for a, like, single straight forward. Okay, and now I can shot the one. The one shot of these fuckers. Fucking hate them. And they kept dropping the same goddamn and great sour arrow. Ah! Oh shit. Okay. Never mind. Bag it up. Bag it up. Oh ho 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 ho. Nice. Oh dear. It's the freaking dog. I need to go and uh. Looks like someone needs to go ahead and take a pee. 
pee or poop. I'll be right back, guys. Guys, I hope this doesn't take too long.
Lilith, come. Willow, come. Come, Willow. On the side, guys. Oh, this one. There you go. Ah, good girl. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. It took me, even like, all right. Sorry about that, guys. It took me like 20 minutes to do something. I think I haven't done do yet, but uh, anyways. So, what's in here? You may ask. Well, it's a, uh, it's a certain. Well, it's a boss, and you probably know this already, so if you have figured out what it is, then I suggest you check it out for yourself. Because otherwise, this boss is going to be legit and a pain. So, what you want to do is... Shit! Fuck, I couldn't get out of there. Um, uh, that was a failure. Uh, well, uh, I didn't think that this was gonna be happening right there. Uh, well, I didn't think that's gonna happen. But whatever. Uh, well, that, that kind of didn't turn out well as I would have been predicted as much. Um, so, uh, let's try that again. And so, let's try that again. And, uh, so there is a special, uh, requirement I need to get. Ooh, a Titanite Shard. That's a, one of those things you need to upgrade your weapon. It's important first. Foreign, then it's important to have it, rather than later. <clears throat> Yet somehow I kept missing it. There we go. Stairs that kind of messed up my, uh, my Amy. You know, that kind of thing. There we go. So. So there's some uh, requirements you might probably need before you get to, uh, the Capri Demon. So what you need is, well, uh, some kind of little bit intelligent. You don't have to be more intelligent, and you need to be more efficient. So, what I mean is, it's, uh, just don't be a freaking turd. Just find something to do. Now, don't be a bitch, and don't be a turd. Just do whatever the best you can do. <clears throat> so, this fight... So, the fight against the Cameron Demon might be a pain in the, in the neck. But trust me, it will get a whole lot easier if you try uh, something new. Now, the Pink Sorcerer is going to be completely badass, like 10 out of 10. I trust you with that. Hollow Thieves Thighs. Alright, so if I go upstairs slowly, be aware of a lying on a bush. Shit! So, 
blocking their attacks would be easier, because it's probably better this way, rather than just go out, like, you know, pausing and shit and that kind of thing. So here's what you need to do. Shit. Mother. Um, so, uh, so, fighting against Cabra Demon can be a pain in the neck, neck with, like, literally, like, no health whatsoever against, uh, those fucking dogs. Because the reason you have, like, no health at all is you couldn't be, like, more poisonable, because as dark as well, it does work with poise, with armor and such, and it's a pain in a dick. Yes, I just said dick. So no reason, because I wouldn't give a shit about it. So, here is why. Oh, what the fuck. <sighs> so, here's what you need to do. So, once you enter the Camper Demon, run. Run to... Run. So, I want you to block the dog's attack. Heck, and just, and just run, and just roll past as the Cabra Demon before it does the slam attack on you. Cause it will be a whole lot easier without you getting this fucking wrecked. Heck, and get fucking destroyed. Now, as a sorcerer, you have like, like small health. And it's kind of like being squishy. And that's part of being squeegee and that kind of thing. But I'm trying to go for our, uh, health and intelligence. Cause it probably, it, I'll probably, it's probably what that, uh, it's probably what needs it the most. Just, and just health, intelligence, and then probably endurance. <sighs> Anyways. Like I said, I mentioned, as I mentioned this, yes, I know, this fight can be a pain in the dick. But, however, you just don't even try. Somehow I missed that. Yeah, but I got the other type perfect. Okay, so what you need to do is just be prepared. So, what do you want to do is just be cautious and just go ahead and just block the dog's attack first and then you just go ahead and just run. As soon as you, as soon as you see those two dogs jump in, go ahead and run up these stairs. So we're gonna go ahead and do a great sword arrow on this thing. We're gonna make it easier right now, just use a heavy sword arrow on this thing. There you go. That's how you fought the Capra Demon. <sighs> I know it's as hard a simple fight as a sorcerer, but you probably need a heavy sword arrow for it, because uh, it will be a hell of a bit easier if you do this right. So don't take any changes and just don't go and charge. Alright, Jaden, since you are about to die right away. And you want I. So the reason for that, because you need to be a, a lot, a lot of extra prepared for it, because you might need this heavy sorrow for the next part. But, which, I know what you're thinking, Hellkite Dragon, or otherwise Hellkite Drake. Now, since you got the ladder opened up, now uh, since you got the ladder opened up, I want you to go ahead and, and take and go ahead and rest in the bonfire 
her and just take out and let the dragon wipe out a few who undid his soldiers. Those who were just right out of that field. Right out of that bridge. Edge to the they go to the sunlight and the gate to Nandu. They perish. I want you to go ahead and uh So once again in here go ahead and clear everything out as you can. Holy jeez. Usually get them by distance, cause it will be... Cause by distance, I mean, you should be a lot safer and you have to be cautious and right that time around. So, um... So once you get here, go ahead and uh, rest. And... Go ahead and reverse holding and then add, and then pop in other... Then pop your humanity for a kindle. So you get like 10 Esther Flax. Cause you can't have a fight without like 10 Estus Flasks, cause, cause it will really suck, wouldn't it? Now, for this Hellkite Drake, the, the, the thing with the Hellkite Drake, it kinda shoot, it kinda means like the, the fire. And, and sorcerers don't get a lot of fire resistance, nor physical either. Uh, nor a lot of, uh, those things. Now, as you can tell, my fire resistance is kind of shitty. My magic defense is probably high. Uh, my defense is like 30. Uh, lightning is like... Oh, 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 I see. Like, it's in the numbers of the... On the, the, uh, the one you wear. Oh, no, this it kind of feels like it's a bit uh, shitty at this point. I had to do this because you had to do this. It, it if you want to if you want to kill get rid of this hell kite I drank already, you might as well do this. So let him so let him clear out to the so let him clear out uh, a one more shit that gets the one of the undead dragons. That's undead. And shoot at these, and take down the, the uh, those undead soldiers. Crossbow, shield, swords, whatever. It doesn't matter which. Now for the the health kind of Drake, as a sorcerer, you needed to require right, a lot of shit things. So you need to be like I don't know, be extreme cautious. Now when you, now when that when now so when it does that just don't uh, try and attack it. Don't try don't try to take any chances of what you can do. And see how they die for that? That's where well, that's how you die. If you get caught in like a certain combo. It's pretty 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 ridiculous. Now now to get the Hellkite a dragon to get that is a essentially well it would be easy if you just had to let him clear out a few um these these undead drag these undead soldiers in just a minute. Now, the flame that he has is amazingly strong. 
179, that doesn't deal too much. And there goes my 9,000 souls. Because I took a shit ton of damage. Right to the face. And it was bad. It was kind of my fault, actually. And I wasn't uh, paying attention because I was uh, focusing on him. But I realized I kind of died. I kind of, you know, fucked it up for some reason. So my souls were right there the last time. I just kind of, you know, died from it because I was being an idiot. Being a fucking idiot. Now, if you see the corpse of the other guys, they just know how they died. Oh! I... Uh... I did not think that was gonna happen. Happen. Just land right there. Just land on the bridge and just, you know, just one shot of me. Yeah, so don't get close. Don't get too close where the head is. And you might get, you might get one shot instantly. Hey, no matter how many times you try, you might still die instantly, regardless of what you're doing. Now, this is a great place to farm souls and such, but, yeah, pretty much. Killing Hokkaido will give you, like, what, 10,000 souls and such? But I think that's where it goes, actually. <laughs> if it does happen, actually. See how did that uh one almost one shot on me? Because I because well, you know, luck. And that will won't show you too. So, you kind of have to be cautious with these things. Because these things might take a while uh, to beat the uh, living hell out of the hill kite. Right? Because it will be... Because, I mean, safety is uh, really important for us. But if you want to get... If you want to get this shit done, you might as well do it anyways. <sighs> um... Now... Can I do this being hill kite without dying? I think I might. And then this is kind of my fault for getting hit for like not the first try. I'm not like not trying to, to time things right. So here's what I do. So I got my staff catalyst ready, and I think I'm just gonna you know.
Now roll in as... Okay, so you kind of need to take this different approach. You never seen in how I survived that? Because, well, luck, to be honest. I think heavy sorrow is kind of a bit risky, but you can still try it, whatever. I think heavy sorrow does the great damage, does the best damage, but I think you should probably go for it. At least you should try it hey, uh, more often. So close, yet so far. <laughs> oh, I was so close. Oh, so close, yet so far. Oh, so close, yet so far. Oh, man, I was so close. So close, yet I almost had it. Son of a bitch. So here's the plan I came up with. Um, so here's the plan I came up with. So when I got so when I got the idea how to do this. Because you can't not do this. I mean I repeatedly instruct you not to do something. Something. Kids, you need to be, just you need to be cautious. You need to acquire safety and skills. Because that's the most important part you probably need the most. So what are the thing to help Kite Drake? You need to kill him. You need to time this perfectly. Otherwise, if you don't, you might as well screw you might screw your shit up pretty badly. Now you have to be cautious and just take this slow. Do not go into it or do not 
if you do not want to get caught in it, you might as well stay down there. See? That did some damage. Now, what this dragon does, if he rests up there, on the top of the church, and you see what I mean. Like he regenerates his health all the time. Now, wait for it to come in, it may have to come down here again. And now they'll get hit. Now, I didn't think he can follow up a combo. Oh, you just, just gotta be careful what you're doing. Otherwise, you don't, you probably need, you probably get, get yourself screwed up. And how did I that get, how, and how did I get that hit me? Which is very, very strange. And I almost died. But I survived somehow. Oh! Oh, I forgot. You probably need to take out this tail first. Because I think the tail by far is probably one of his biggest weakness. So you need to, need to be sure that you're prepared and you need to cut off, cut off his tail so he can't do it with his tail whip on you. Oh, because if you're right behind him, he was, he's gonna use the, the, his tail to uh, just to catch you. And otherwise you're dead. What you need to do is be cautious. Now, what you need to do is to make him come down uh, and let and and let him do the cast of fire and let him do his fire breath. Now, I don't know why I did that. It's kind of weird. Dying, dying, because I'm not sure what I'm doing. I was trying to go for the tail, but really, I'm just trying to kill the freaking dragon. <sighs> so, as you can see, this boss can be a legit pain in the ass. Now, some of you might have not figured out how to kill this thing, because uh, no one has seemed to figure out on their own. So I was trying to do the best way I could. Now to do this, you have to wait to make him to come down, and you so you can fight off your great and you can fight off your sword arrows. Okay, I need to stop rolling into it. Because rolling into it, that's where this is where you probably die. But no, I didn't. Somehow survived. And this is the second time it just happened to me.
Now you need to roll out of there where he flies up in the air. And I die. Because I went underneath him. I was about to get out of there. And I couldn't. And I died right there. Because this thing is a pain in the ass. And it's gonna take for like an hour or so. Or no. Because it's gonna take for fucking forever to get this shit done. Oh, well, to be honest, guys, I have no ideas. I have no other ideas whatsoever. Because this boss is. This, this mini boss right here, it can be legit pain, pain, but you have no other ways, and, but no option, other options to do. By doing so, it's gotta be pain in the ass. Now, so what do you need to do? So you have to do the exact same thing as you've done it before. Now, I want you to go very, very cautious. You don't know when he's gonna do his, his next attack. He's gonna do the stomp, he's gonna do his neck, he's gonna do his vibrating thing. My best, my best guess is his biting. And now, you need to, you know, just roll when he does that. And I survived, because the, the tears of denial saved me, and I fucking died. Because I couldn't get out of there. Or in time, and just heal. Because... Fucking... Physics. Fucking bitches. Now, uh, let's see, the health hydrate, it's gonna take, like, I don't know, forever, I guess? If how long it's gonna take. And to be honest, no one really gives a shit about this, this dragon, because it a, can be a legit pain in the ass. And yes, I know, death ahead. And then, yes, I know, death ahead. So this is like an actual safe zone, you know, to be like, you know, stay tight here. Make sure he doesn't see you when he or when your uh, catalyst is ready. Oh shit. Stupid phone. Got me distracted. Got me f- oh, almost got me killed. And distracted me, but almost got me killed. Need to be actually get in into him on the bridge, not off to the side nor anything. Besides, no one gives a shit about it. Besides, he gets zero shits and he will still fuck you up. And I died. Well, I don't even think about it. Willow, what's the matter? matter. She's wondering about our parents and Lana not being home. They won't be back till like 11. We're still home. This is a long time. What is it? Oh, this is the residence key. Uh, you could go get the lightning primers, and because it might deal like the best damage out of the sword. Just to be clear.
I don't know what. Fuck it. Let's go get the lightning prime resin. We can get the lightning prime resin within the the resonance and shit. Hit that hurt. Hey. Oh shit. No. I need like a better weapon or something, because this does like zero shit. At least my magic doesn't even better. There we go. Firebombs. What the hell do I need firebombs for? And shit. Where do you come from? There we go. No, lightning pyrism. Spencer used this against the uh let's see, the two bosses. What they would call it. Oh yes, the tortoise demon, the coward demon. I was meant to use that as in the shit. So, to actually need a beat. Now, now let's begin. Now let, now let the games fucking begin. Well, not really, but hey, at least we're trying. This is already buffed on the weapons, but stabs don't, because they don't have the tumble buff thing, really. And how does speed is still get me? I'm gonna call this boss a uh, Hellkite Hey Drake Nightmare. Yeah, it kinda looks like it, it isn't it, because of the spikes and shit. It's kinda weird. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. See what happens? And you get toasted. See what happens if you don't cast the heavy star arrow when he does the biting? You have to wait. Hey, to do that after he. You have to wait. Eat, eat after he bites or he even tries to stomp on you. 
So just don't try that when you do that, huh? Just use a great throw arrow on him and you'll be fine. You should be fine at the end. But for some reason he's like glitch on, on like not stopping breathing fire nonsense shit or whatever. It's kind of strange. But whatever, but still. Wouldn't bet her either way. Well, though! Hold on a sec. I need to go to deal with the dog again. I need to go and deal with the dog first. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 That was kind of like short five seconds. Uh, problems as usual. And then it's like, guys, you just sit tight. Willow! Off! Now! Willow! Get off! Off my bed! Off my bed! Please? Hello? We won't play with. We won't. I won't play with you if you don't get off of your- if you don't get off. She's kind of like, eh, I don't care, I just want her parents to be home. No, more like she wants to have the upper hand over everyone. I think I know why, she just kept jumping on my bed. Ah! Probably because a lot of lights are on her, on her bed. Like, what the fuck? Off! Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Off my bed. And she's like, yeah, no, fuck you. Hello? I'm gonna have to just do this.
that we're getting out of the room. So, if she comes here, so if she finds out that we're leaving the room, or possibly even going downstairs, to be honest, she'll know that we're getting out there, and then she'll... Ah, ha, ha. Sometimes bringing a toy, and usually someone bringing a toy would probably do the trick. Back, guys. Sorry about that. Well, I just went to her crate just to lay down. And so. So, this is where our gets happens usually. So, notice that I do have a dog, but really, you just kind of have to, like, you know, just figure the uh, shit out for yourself, to be honest. And I. <laughs> I don't think I might prepare for it, because you, you... I don't know what happens next, but... And I'm dead. Again. Uh, I think this Hellkite Drake could not just stop doing that. It's a pain. I'm trying to find some ways to like, you know, just beat him somehow. But there's no actual, like, you know, fucking way. The only the actual way to do it is just going in and in for range. Because I think range is probably the safety part first before you go in a, in a close-up range. If you know what I mean, of course. So let's see closely. So we can hear the dragon. 
I can jump off. That's when you gauge. Oh, yes. One more thing. Do not stand underneath the dragon's neck. Because you take a lot of damage and you'll be in a world of pain. Oh yeah, don't do that, because you might get caught in it. See, he wants to lure you in, and it's kind of a pretty bad thing to do that. And... And yes, he does have some follow-ups, which it's fucking insane. Like, my god! Is there some other ways to do this? That is besides a heavy sword arrow? Because I don't know, so heavy arrow does a great ton of the damage, but it somehow. and somehow it never lets me. Which it can be like, you know, a pain in the deck. Alright, so, one last time. Same thing as before, just don't try to attack him. Just go ahead and engage him as soon as he comes down. Uh, and you actually fighting him. the other way accident. Because I've been stuck at that corner. Because that corner has so much small base, I have nowhere else to roll to. God fucking damn it! Just fucking god damn it! Son of a bitch! Oh my god! I hate to deal with this thing. I had to deal with the... I hate to fight the Hellkite I Drake. It's one of the most hardest bosses as the entire Soul series, because it's no one has ever thought fighting this thing. And it's been ridiculous, it's been several ages, and no one has figured out how to beat it. And so there should be a guide in somewhere on a Dark Souls 1, if you haven't figured out yet. So I recommend you go ahead and check it out, because it will be great a possibility. Holy shit. I don't know how did I survive that, but it was pure luck. So listen closely. Once hit, once this dragon gets up close, he, need, he, he needs to do his breath. Because that's the most important thing you need to do. If you want to get this fight over with, you let it be done, but then 
just do it. It would probably be easier in a lot of it, in a lot of ways. So use one heavy sorrow and then just run away. Oh, that's my fucking dog. For some reason, you see if he is standing right there. Just go ahead and put it if he's somewhere on him. Okay, so now he does something. So close. Might as well do something about it. Hey, Willow. shouldn't leave us in charge like that. I know. Because we never, like, knew how we can actually keep Willow in check. Because, for the love of crap, for the love of... For the love of what? God? God? <laughs> Please. Cats don't exist, man. Give me a break. Try rolling. Well, at least I... So, see, so heavy arrow is probably it does it a lot easier hit than I would have thought about it. Because if it's just standing there, for some reason at the end of the bridge, just... Just go ahead and just hit him, and just, you will be fine. Regardless of the outcome. I was not meant to do that. I was not meant to do that.
What the shit? Uh, I do think he can get do that. He can just whip a tail right against you. With that swing, he can just he just hit you and just throw you off into the bridge and you die. Uh, uh, I think this, this Hellkite Dragon kind of takes way too serious. Yes, if you ask me. Yes, death ahead. Such. I mean, this thing is like a pain in the ass to fight. If you can know what I mean, to be honest. <sighs> that was a mistake. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that was fucking close. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Oops. I think I might kill him with this. It's kind of funny, and it's kind of it's kind of funny to be honest. Oh, got him! There you go. That's how you kill the hell kite as a sorcerer. Fucking easy as shit. Now you see, ten thousand souls. What did I tell you? Well, at least like, well, at least it's better than nine thousand. But still, what the fuck? Well, but hey, at least 9,000 is better than 5. But hey, at least 9,000, at least 10,000 is better than 6,000. What can I say? What? Oh. Uh. Bro? Huh? Shut everything down. Oh, uh, right. Because you you're going to bed. Because you still have school and I have to stay home. <laughs> um, actually it's not that. Why? Because one of us has to take turns. <sighs> of course, do we have to do everything for that for uh, for our parents? Uh, whatever. At least it's close enough. But hey, at least uh, well, at least I like the two uh time steps here, just in case. If you guys are wondering, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. This is Mutant Dragon signing out.